Hey guys, Kelly G here. What's happening, Facebook? Um, so I've been trapped in this house for days, weeks, feels like forever. <laughs> and we've all been sick and I'm finally not sick anymore. Tracy, am I on my main wall? I, I am intending to be on my main wall. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be quick, but I wanted to share with you guys a really cool, hey Monica. Um, I have a new application, a new way that I've been applying the Magnetic Mascara. And where is it? That's not the Magnetic Mascara. Where is it? Of course, I don't have it. Um, I have a new way that I've imply, been applying the Magnetic Mascara. And I am absolutely obsessed with how easy it is. Ugh, crud. Of course, I can only find my old one how easy it is and um, how amazing the results are. Okay, look, I have, this is a pretty, pretty bold lash that I have on right now, guys. This is applied with the magnetic mascara. It took me a few minutes, not even. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. And then you guys can futz around with it. I actually have seen people do something similar with the liner. So if you just have the liner, like if you bought the liner and lash set from me, and you want to try this that way, I would say give it a whirl because I tried it this weekend that way and I liked it. I just, you know, the mascara, this is just regular mascara I'm putting on just to blend my lashes right now real quick. But the mascara, um, the magnetic mascara is recommended for your on, directly on your lashes. So I'm just, I'm just going with this. Plus the magnetic mascara lasts for ages. The consistency is amazing. I love the liner too, but I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the mascara. So I just put on a regular coat of um, just daily mascara just to blend my lashes. Okay, this has nothing to do with anything except so that the lashes blend with the false lash, right? Okay, so then I let it dry for a second or two. Let the, take the regular mask, the, I'm sorry, the magnetic mascara, which has the two wands, the mascara wand and the, liner wand um and am i in my group uh, i mean i'm on my wall okay cool so what i'm gonna do is i am taking the liner wand the liner side of the mascara wand this is my older one but the, this product lasts for a long 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 time um so even though this is my older one it'll be fine the brush got a little bit frayed but it'll be fine all right so this is i finally figured out too a great way to apply for you guys live so you can see what i'm doing and i can actually do what i'm supposed to be doing here okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to actually put, put my little magnifying mirror like on my phone because then i look right into that and then you guys can actually see what i'm doing but i might not see comments or questions or anything yet and i won't see myself so it's a little bit weird not what I'm used to, but here we go. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. All right. That's what I wanted, Trace. I wanted to go on my regular wall today. So what I do is I take my liner wand, okay, and I'm just going to paint a little tiny bit because the mascara, the magic, the magic, it is kind of magic, but the magnetic mascara comes with two different applicators. One is like a painty brush that looks like a you would put your liner on, like a liquid liner. And then the other side is actually a mascara wand, like a really thin mascara wand. Um, so basically what I'm doing, you guys can see, is I'm literally just painting the inner and outer corners with a tad of this magnetic mascara. Can you guys see me pretty well? I think I've got it figured out. Then what you really kind of need, and I'm just a perfectionist, so you could get away without this, but what you really kind of need is the f like a metal tooth comb like I have here, just to kind of, once you put the mascara on, just spread it a little because you're painting it on. I mean, it's especially the way I just applied it. It's a mascara because it goes on your lash, but it's not really like a mascara the way I applied it. Anyway, so you see, just that's it. A little bit of regular mascara, a touch on the inner and outer lash, clean it up. Somebody stole my Q-tips. So I gotta use a little tissue. 
One of my kids probably stole them. All right, so that's it. I'm just gonna let that dry a minute. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Feel free to share this if you are not a lash girl, but I'm sure some of your friends are. They might be excited to learn about this. So I'm just pulling it through a little, like such. All right, and that's it, and it's pretty much dry. I'm gonna apply a different lash style on my eye for you so that you can see, like this one is called Date Night. It's quite bold, it's not gonna be for everyone, but isn't it beautiful? So pretty, I love. All right, but on the other side, I'm gonna put nine to five, which is a very, very natural lash, very natural looking lash, um, very much just like a pretty extension, right? So what I'm gonna do is, this is an old, old one of mine. It's a little bit, needs a little tender love and care, but it should do the trick. You can wear these uh, 20 to 30 times with proper care. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, hope you guys can see me. I'm just gonna lay the lash over my lash. Okay. Now I don't have a ton of the mascara on. I only have a tiny bit on it right now. Okay, just kind of where I want it. Now what it's really doing is just kind of holding it into place for a minute while I get my rest of my tools. Speaking of, I have to swing you a little because I didn't get my tweezers. Okay. Now I just take my tweezers and when you buy the lashes, thanks, I have so many lashes here, girls. When you buy the lashes, you get the inkers, which are amazing. They're just tiny little magnetic they're just tiny little magnets with um lashes attached to it little false lashes so you hold it by the lashes and you make sure the lashes are curled up that's how you know you're holding it the right way just like your lashes would curl up and you're just gonna come underneath the lash right where you want it and did you see how that happened it just it just pulled it just pulled it just clicks right to the magnet sometimes i paint the whole top, what I've been doing up until this point was painting the whole top lash and then just using two little anchors, one on the inside corner, one on the outside corner. But it's a little messier because it's a little hard to get to that spot. So this works so awesome and really all I'm doing is just using one extra anchor and it comes with plenty of anchors. So I just come in, see how it just snagged it? Okay, and now I'm just gonna add one in the middle. When I was putting the magnetic mascara all over the top of my lash, I was um, using only an inner and an outer corner magnet. Now I'm just gonna pop one in the middle. And it's not, it's really not scary. All you need is a good mirror and you'll see it just grabs it. See it? Did you see it pull? And that is it, wa freaking la. Now, because I'm anal and a perfectionist, and you guys are like all up in my grill right now. Sorry about that. But you, I want you to see like the details of this. It's super important that you can see just how it happens. It looked like a little tiny bit of my natural lash. It's not blended perfectly. So I just go in with my little blendy dude. And pull them apart. I don't know. It's not a blendy dude. It's a um, lash brush. Okay, so this is the 9 to 5 super natural looking like... It, Day look extensions, pow, date night, and there's like a whole bunch of other different ones. Um, but how easy was that, guys? What do you think? Do you like that? Would you wear either of these? Now, let me talk to you about, um, I'd love to know what questions you have. So, um, you can get 20 to 30 wears out of them. The nice thing is that when you get lash extensions, A, they're way more expensive. These are going to cost you like, I don't know couple bucks every time you wear them, $3 or something like that. But you can wear them today and not tomorrow. You could wear them Saturday and not for a week or a month or three months if you just want to wear them for special occasions. Um, obviously with lash extensions, oh my gosh, how do you take them off? You want to see how you take them off? All right, um, I'll show you in one sec, Patty. So yes, they're amazing. And this is such a great application, so easy. And um, 
beautiful, flawless. It looks like it just comes right out of your lash, like a lash extension. So you don't have to deal with, um, you know, losing lashes. People get lash extensions because they don't want to lose their lashes and then, you know, or because they want big lashes and then they lose their lashes because of it. Um, a lot of the lash glues when you're getting extensions have formaldehyde and all kinds of crazy nastiness in them. So there's that. Also, when you get lash extensions, you have them put on for 30 days or however long, they're on every single day. So every single day you're paying that amount. If you spread it out over 30 days, you divide your costs and whatever. You have no option. You can't even wash your face at the end of the night. You can't sleep in a certain way. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so this is how you take them off. You go like this. You pull, you kind of separate the, see, it just came off. You just kind of pull the anchor, pop it back in your case, pull the anchor. You kind of just slide to separate it. Look, ah, you can't look, but there it is. Ah, and it's down my sleeve. Oh, well, I have like 5 billion anchors floating around this place. And then I had the one in the middle. I just slide, see, slide that little bad boy away. And then the lash just peels off. And then this just washes off. Just washes off. It literally, like, sure, you can use a Too Faced makeup remover. Um, you know, like an oil base, we actually have one special. But you don't have to have that. You don't have to have that kind of a... Um, you don't have to have the one that Tori Bell sells. But you could use a Too Faced makeup remover. But honestly, if you just wash your face and rinse your eyes quite a bit, it just kind of, like, flakes away. It's very, very gentle on your eyes. It's super easy to clean up. And I love that you can do you know, like the nine to five look that I just had on, like a lot more subtle. Um, or you can, you know, do a more dramatic look. Obviously, we also have the liner. So if you're scared of this application process for some reason, you can also do the magnetic liner. But look, you just, anybody's hopping out, you can see how it kind of pulls to the liner. I mean, to the mascara. Lay it over the lash. And that's it. Position it. I always trim mine. Literally, Patty, you can just wash these off. I don't use makeup remover. I really don't use makeup remover with them. I wash my face and I rinse my eyes and I just rinse and rinse with whatever, whatever cleanser you're using on your face. You need a little bit of cleanser or something. Whatever cleanser you're using on your face, I'll show you guys again real quick. Pop. And you can just wash, rinse, 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 rinse. Okay. I mean, this application process could not be any smoother and easier and look more lovely. Plus, you're using such a small amount of product on the liner and you're being really easy on the lashes too, the false lashes. Um, because you're not applying, you're not applying much product and so you're not really peeling the lash off. It comes off so easy because you're just like gently peeling it off. So your product will last forever and your lashes will also last forever. Boom. Check that out. So fun, right? Easy, easy, easy. So I can get you guys like super dramatic nine to five like this this looks just this kind of looks just like my lashes are amazing this is probably what my lashes looked like about 20 years ago not no more so anyway um if you guys have any other questions let me know if you have um some friends that you think might be interested in these lashes please feel free to share that would be awesome um and let me know if you have any questions oh no only ivory though what does that mean like ivory um, face wash soap, um, Patty. Anyway, if you guys are interested in these amazingnesses, let me know. All right. Happy hump day. Bye.